Uh, I think we've got 10 races left. How many races have we got left? Uno, dos, tres. I don't know what four is. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine races left. Monza today, high-speed circuit. Looks like it's going to be a dry race. Traditionally, we've done okay at this circuit, but that is largely down to our engine. And this year, I think our high-speed cornering, which has always been good, not been so good, might be an issue. So I, I feel like, yeah, the, the rest of this season is probably going to be a slowly slipping away from third and potentially anxiously looking over our shoulder at Aston Martin. Hopefully it doesn't come to that, but I'm just, I, I feel like I need to lower the expectations a little bit. We've scouted Lando Norris. We know how much he's on and that his contract is running out at the end of this year. Is it worth getting a scout report on George Russell? Part of me thinks no. Part of me thinks literally might as well be scouting him because I need to find my new senior driver. I need to make a call on if I'm replacing Albon. Albon is turning 30 soon as well, which is worth considering. People are saying Gasly. Do you feel... Okay, I mean, Gasly's not bad. I mean, Lance Stroll is very good as well in game. Is Stroll too good or am I underselling Stroll? Stroll is very good, isn't he? I mean, the thing is, there's quite a long time left of the season. It's the 27th of August. We might as well scout a few drivers. The, the longer this goes on, the more I am thinking about renewing album. I'll be honest. I kind of would probably want to scout a few more drivers than just see how much, say, Lando wants and how much Albon wants. By the way, games had an update. Albon is blonde. I know, shock. That is That was the patch notes. They've made no other changes. They just patched Albon's hair in 1.8. Oh, yeah, Pacher's got a penalty for this race as well, hasn't he? After his crash in Zanvort. And that crash in Zanvort did kind of ruin some of his engine bits. Which is not ideal. Right. So we are now having to start to use practice parts. Given the fact that we are just slowly going to get slower throughout the rest of this season, with us not bringing upgrades and potentially those around us upgrading, and given the fact this is a super high-speed circuit, feels logical that I should just bring all my best bits to this race here. Everything that I've got that is good, we bring now. Also, we are short on gearboxes, aren't we? We're, we're definitely taking a gearbox penalty with Teo before the end of the year. At least it's only a million. I mean, is it worth taking it now, knowing that he's already got a grid penalty? He's already serving a grid penalty this weekend. I'm going to need another gearbox at some point this year. Because there's still nine races left. I think I'm going to take the gearbox now, you know. Because I think it's useful for this race. The walls aren't too close either. The fact that we've got now a scrolly section for gearboxes. I don't think that's happened before. Hopefully he doesn't smash those ones. That would be good, wouldn't it? So all these guys are on push laps. We're starting a long way behind them here. Verstappen braking very aggressively to get out the way. He's now on his lap. Yeah, actually, he's got an annoyingly amount of clean air there, hasn't he? Be interested to see if the times do get quicker throughout the session with this new grip change. I'm anticipating these won't be the laps that matter quite as much. And it's Q1. We should be getting out of Q1. It should be fine. Hey, I'm glad you enjoyed the video today, Lawless. Yeah, I was pleasantly surprised, actually, with how much the, the comment section was in universal agreement. Oh, my word. The cars actually got out of the way really well ahead of the chicane. Did you guys see that? Although... Albon is going slow here. Albon got blocked, and now Teo's getting blocked by his own teammate when they're both on flying laps. Okay, that's slightly annoying, and that wasn't a thing that happened pre-patch. Pacher went quick. Albon lost seven times. Albon did still get blocked, and then blocked his teammate as a result. Not a bad time for Pacher. Pacher has gone slower throughout this lap. Albon slower through sector two, but sector three was where he lost all his time. Is he going to make up enough time to climb out the session? It's a big improvement. We're going to have to hope that is big enough. I mean, you'd assume it will be. The clock is about to strike zero. And I think we're going to be fine. That was a pretty good time by all accounts. And yeah, both drivers making it through. A few drivers on push laps were fine. So I'm going to send both drivers out here. The tyres I'm sending them out on are actually very, very used tyres. They've already done two sessions. Or two push laps, rather. So I'm not expecting these to be quick. But I think my plan with both drivers is just to send them out at the end of the session after this. I'm hoping that as the lap goes on, Bashir might get a really nice toe-off album. And hopefully, without any traffic to block Albon, 
he won't then compromise Teo at the end of the lap. That's what I'm envisaging. Whether or not that happens remains to be seen. Okay, I feel like Pacher is getting a nice toe here. And I don't feel like Albon's blocking him either. I mean, pacher has gone faster through every sector. This is all about just getting both drivers into Q3, of course. Mega lap for Pacher. Pacher quick. So Hopefully quick three. enough. Okay, Alex. That's that run done. So go switch in. Coffee. Faster than Verstappen. Suck it, Max. Suck it. Okay, so both drivers will go out on fresh softs now. That was always the plan. The question is, when do I send them out? When is the right time to go? Presumably, you know, Carlos Sainz and Ferrari are going to send out their drivers in a second. So that, to me, feels like the time to go. We'll go now. I feel like I've sent them out at a wise time. I don't know if I had to send Teo out again, but it felt better to be safe. Teo's got a load of traffic on his right here. Hopefully, with the new patch, they're all just going to stay out the way. Oh, my word. I'm actually tearing up. That would not have worked on the previous patch. I'm getting emotional. Albon's good enough that he doesn't need the toe. Albon doesn't need no toe. He's got great flippers of his own. At the time's blocked. The blanks are where drivers are on outlaps. For some reason, it's not showing the outlap text in 1.8. Okay, Albon goes seventh fastest. It's an improvement. I'm gonna have to hope that's enough of an improvement. It's a, it's a pretty good lap. It's not a great lap. I am just wondering, is everyone going to make it around here with 20 seconds left? Because they're all going to move out of the way of Gasly here, surely. Like, Gasly's on a push lap. So some of these guys who are, I presume, on out laps. Arcon has now started his fly lap, but he started it too late. There's loads of them not going to make the line. I mean, bizarre. Norris doesn't make the line. Sonoda doesn't make the line. Bothopsas doesn't make the line. We are going to get through by virtue here of pure... I'm not going to say luck. But those teams left their cars late too late. You could argue re re realistic for Monza. Merck only one car in the top 10. Could Kevin knock Perez out? That would be very, very nice for us. If he could, Kevin, I'm looking at you, mate. Two green sectors. Can he knock out Ocon? No. But he does get 10th off Ocon. Give him a little round of applause. That S subtle applause for Kevin. So my plan here is to use this set of softs that we just used for our final lap last session for our opening laps here. And then we will have a set of fresh tyres to use uh, following on from that. I wonder if we can get Pacher the same toe that we got him previously. Not expecting us to have our fastest laps right now, but you never know. You know, F1 is weird. We've got some drivers here. We're going to have to get out of the way as we go past them. This is where Albon got blocked before through the chicane and had to lift. But it looks like we're going to be okay here. Leclerc might have lost some time to a world Max Verstappen who's got out of the way very generously for us. Leclerc was fastest through sectors one and two. So if we end up finishing ahead of him, he was almost definitely blocked by Max. He does look closer to Albon than he was before as well. Because we are on used tyres here. That said, yeah, Alba, Leclerc got blocked by Verstappen. The Red Bull Civil War that is going on is going to rage on. Just a reminder, these two guys still technically fighting it out. Verstappen, though, is clear of Leclerc. Right, Pacher and Albon going out. Now, I, I will admit, I have set them out way closer to each other than I planned to. I just autopiloted left them right. So there is going to be a bit of a toe on display here, which I can only apologize for. Because I know some people have backed Albon. But, he's, he's, I mean, Pacher's still got to put, put it all together. And Leclerc, I think we're going to get a toe off Leclerc now. He's just started his lap too. There could be drama with this prediction here. There could be drama because Pacher's now been dropped and I think Albon's going to get a toe off Leclerc. I've done the reverse scam there. When the prediction of this nature is presented, you have to factor in Jack's Pacher bias. Potentially true. I mean, to be fair, Albon getting a toe here is more beneficial because we know Pacher's taking a massive penalty. Albon, fastest through sector one. 
The toe off this Red Bull is very, very strong. The Red Bull is the fastest car by miles. It's only a green sector two. Is he closing the gap on Leclerc there with anti-RS? It's hard to tell. I think he is slowly but surely. This could be a stonker. This could get us up to second. I don't think we'll go faster than Max. Albon's going to cross the line. He sets the time. It is the fastest lap. Leclerc, who was just ahead, went second fastest. Albon gets the toe. Pacher can't improve his time. Albon is on pole. Max Verstappen is the man to fear. Signs goes quicker as well. Look at the time differences here. We have four drivers within 50 thousandths of a second. Albon will almost certainly be starting on the front row. Could he hold on to pole position? Leclerc went quick. Verstappen is improving everywhere. Can he improve in his third and final sector? Probably will. He can't improve enough. Alexander Albon is going to start on pole. And let's be a ghastly. No, he's on an in lap. He's, he's on an in lap. Well, that is a, that's a turn up for the Bucks. That is a turn up for the Bucks. Do you believe in miracles? Because I do. I've just got the achievement on Steam for qualifying in pole position. Is that the first time we've ever qualified in first? I can't believe it. What an occasion. Okay, so bashir has got a free place grid penalty for that other penalty, but has he not also got the gearbox penalty? Have they has that not included the gearbox penalty chat? Have I just found a bug? Where because I took a penalty when he was already serving a penalty, I've already, I've taken less of a penalty. The game sometimes forgets penalties. You know what? We've been shafted by many bugs during my life of playing this game. I won't complain about this one. What is the best strategy here? Medium softs? I don't really, if I'm going to do a two-stopper, I want to be getting through the pack. If I start on the mediums and go medium, soft, soft, I'll just get stuck in traffic on the mediums. I want to pit before everyone else does so I have clean air for that second set of softs. I think our plan has to be available just to hold on to the Red Bulls for as long as we can. The reality is we're probably going to get passed by them and we're not faster than the Ferraris. Like on raw pace, we're probably the fastest car but we have been overperforming the car lately. Gonna hope that trend can continue here. Okay, I'm nervous. But I'm cautiously optimistic. I, I am optimistic here. Of course, Bashir's gonna have the pack to work through. Albon starting first. He is still ahead of Max to the line. Max Verstappen is starting on mediums. Interesting. Into this first corner, Red Bull side by side. Albon is going to hope to just vanish into the distance. Bashir, not made up any positions yet. I say yet, now he's lost a place. He is side by side against Ocon, of course. Mercedes, our rivals in the championship. Perez is starting sick for them. They've got Ocon in 11th. Expect Bashir and him to have a bit of a battle. Meanwhile, the Red Bulls are still going at it. The Red Bulls are going at it. No DRS, of course, for two laps. Expect a big train. I'll tell you what, this Max Verstappen bloke's quick, isn't he, on mediums? Do you know if there's any race, uh, rain in this race? There won't be any rain. It's going to be a relatively straightforward race. Unless they've added a chance of rain that shows nowhere in the patch. Which I actually feel like they probably should have, and it should be very, very unlikely. But it doesn't exist yet. It's actually mad, isn't it, how quick Albon was in quality, but also how quick the Red Bull was that we just got a toe off. Like, Verstappen's on the mediums. I'm full sending everything here, and he's still right up our chuff. Hey, Ben, dude, thank you so much for subbing. And don't worry if you're only able to catch the VODs. The VODs are still good content. What's not good content is this. We've been done. He's mugged us off on mediums. I'm fuming. Albon's strategy is a lot more management. So as much as I might want to turn everything up to hang on to the back of the Red Bulls and potentially even the uh, Ferraris, because I think they will get past us, our race is with Perez. 
Our race is with Perez. If we stay ahead of Perez, I'll be happy. I look, I'll be honest, it looks like we've let Leclerc through there, doesn't it? That does look like we've just given up. But yeah, I've got to turn down the tyre usage here because I've got to make them last. I have managed to conserve a little bit of charge, though, by being a neutral and following behind Max, which is great. Really, I just want to use the Red Bulls and Ferraris to get Albon as ahead of Perez for as long as we can. Elsewhere, by the way, Mr. Pacher, who I have left in deploy, which he, he shouldn't be, um, is cooking things. We can let him push his tyres quite heavily here. If Albon can stay in touching distance, that's, I suppose, got to be the dream. But sorry, where is where is George Russell come from there? How's he done that? My car can't do that. I knew we were going to go backwards in this race. I was hoping we'd stay ahead of Ferrari for a little bit longer. I mean, Leclerc's already cooking his tyres, and so are the other, some of the other guys as well. If they're going for this one-stopper where you really have to be gentle on the tyres, they've got to ease up sooner or later. So I'm not going to panic too much just yet. No rain expected, just Russell's sweat. True. Russell won't have DRS, I don't think, here. Although, uh, may maybe I shouldn't be worried about Russell's DRS. Maybe I should be worrying about Carlos Sainz on the outside. Side by side. Now, we do have the Red Bull engine. Does that have more pace? I feel like our DRS effectiveness being slightly better than Ferrari's might just help me if I can stay in DRS of George. Although, no. No, well, never mind. NT. Got to try and get some overtakes done here. Nick De Vries is creating a train that I'm desperate to get out of. And maybe there'll be a chance here. Is that a well Nick De Vries cleared? It is a De Vries cleared. Right. We're now on the hunt for Perez. Wait, Albon got overtaken by Stroll. I missed that. I was too busy watching Bashir do his thing. Is Stroll pushing his tyres harder? Everyone else is pushing their tyres harder around us. Do we think everyone else is going for the same one-stopper? Or do we reckon everyone else is going maybe soft hards? I'm going to trust the system. I'm going to trust the fact that all these cars around me can't keep going as quick as they are and make a one-stop work of soft medium. Yellow flag. Yellow flag. Yellow flag. There's been an incident. Someone has locked up. It's Nick De Vries. Of course it was Nick De Vries. Now, this is what happened as they took turn he nearly hit us in the back here. Watch this. <sighs> I mean, we've got a bit lucky there. They didn't take out Bashir. That could have ended badly for us. Uh, I'm doing really good, thank you, today, Sean. Much better than yesterday. Yesterday, I was going to stream chat, and I had the worst migraine I've had in years. Like, I sometimes get, like, ocular migraines. Russell's got a penalty. Russell, Russell and Leclerc have crashed. Russell and Leclerc have crashed and then stopped on track. That's not looking good for Charles Leclerc. What's happened? George Russell Leclerc fighting side by side. They clash on the chicane and then they both stop for the traffic. And it's dangerous for them both to get going. They are going to be at the back of the pack. Look at that. They're not moving at all. Because the pack is so close together. They are still just parked there. There is no safe way of getting back on. The yellow flag is still waving. And in fact, they are still both out there even now. The only people behind them are Maloney and Mick. And uh, Maloney wants to have a go on George Russell. Who has got a five-second time penalty. Albon, though, did lose DRS having to break there. Which is a tad unfortunate. I think you can reduce lifting post. Is Bashir still got DRS? Good. Okay, I've managed to save a load of charge there. Um, with Bashir harvesting. That's going to be big later. We've got Perez chasing us down here. I am just wondering, with Pasher, do I need to try and get past Kevin? I think I'm just going to go back to harvesting behind him. Perez is going to get the move done here on Album. I mean, if we can use Perez to get DRS and kind of trade back and forth, I'm fine with that. Russell and Leclerc, by the way, yeah, firmly stuck. Russell's actually losing a lot of time. I guess he's just carrying more damage than Leclerc. So I've just full sent the battery there with Pasher. We've barely got out of DRS on Magnussen. That, and now Ocon's got past Magnussen, which is probably going to now put Ocon in DRS range as well. Not what I wanted to see. 
Stroll's up in third. Stroll is low-key having a very good race here, which is slightly concerning for us in our battle against uh, Mercedes. We've got Ocon directly behind us here. There is a point in trying to, to defend them, you mug. Albon, you're really upsetting me today. Ocon's got past Pacher. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to harvest behind Ocon with Pacher and just try and get some charge and then pit slightly later than we originally planned. Only by like two laps. Leclerc is in the pit. Has he got damage? He has got damage. They're changing the nose. Okay, Pacher, no DRS. Going to pit him this lap for the softs. Yeah, we're just losing time now. The, the softs have gone off. We knew that was going to happen, so that's not too bad. Leclerc's put on a set of hards. Is he going hards to the end? I think that's very ambitious from him, but it might be possible. I mean, it definitely is possible. I'm just not sure it's quick. Pacher is in the pits, expecting him to come out towards the back, but if he comes out in clean air, it's fine. Right, come on, the DHLers. Yep, copy. Massive stop. Great stop. I'll tell you what, our new sporting director. Oh, Albon sounded like he was celebrating by swearing. No, he's just been overtaken by Perez. Massive by Teo. Great pit stop for him. He comes out in 17th. Even better than I was expecting. And he can get aggressive on these tyres now. He's got Mick Schumacher behind him, but Mick's not in DRS. Really, really good spot. I feel like some of these guys are going to be trying the undercut by going onto the mediums. I'm just going to hope that by coming out on mediums that are maybe three laps fresher come the end of the race, I can get a better benefit off them. Also, the slower that we go here, the more we're opening up a chance of a uh, like a wider pit window waiting for a safety car. Russell is now in the pit. He's got to serve a penalty. He is coming out so far back, isn't he? Pacher's lap time there, by the way, really, really quick. Like, he is caught up with De Vries very quickly. Might have some guys run their tyres below 30% here, just trying to make them last. Sainz is now in the pit on his soft. Is he going to go soft medium or soft hard to the end? Okay, soft hard. Interesting. Just as a reminder, our plan is to go soft medium. And those medium tyres are going to have some really nice life in them at the end. Joe, Aston Martin, who are fifth in the constrictors, is also pitting right now. We've got a wild Lando Norris on our outside. How are Lando's tyres looking? Lando and ourselves have the best softs right now of the people who started on them. Let's keep the pace up. Okay. But share DRS, by the way, on De Vries as well. Yeah. Did we have to get him on the outside here? Oh my word, that is a mad overtake. It's good to deploy out that corner as well. Did Teo go purple in sector one? Wouldn't surprise me if he did, because he is the guy, one of the few guys on softs right now. Perez is pitted. Okay, Perez is pitted. Now we see what Perez comes out on. We have still got Ocon behind us. I imagine Ocon will pit next lap. See, Perez is going hard as well. Happy to increase pace. This is where it might be worth just going on to deploy a little bit through certain sectors. So Joe's time on the hards is about to come up here. That's the time that I care about. Comparing ourselves to the Ferraris and Red Bulls is just silly. We can't compare ourselves to them. Joe's lap time, 123.6. All right, now Pacher's lapping half a second quicker on the softs. Not a massive performance difference, but obviously the longer Albon stays out on his softs right now, the, the better for later on. So Max's mediums have used 50% in 22 laps. There's 31 laps left. I've kind of got to cover off Ocon anyway at this point. Pacher's chilling in sixth. He's actually, with everyone pitting around him, he's found loads of clean air just to kind of continuously push him without being held up too much. Mm. 
I mean, if Danny Rook wants to get a, a punch in now and slow everyone down, that would be nice. We're coming up to the back of him here. Teo is flying. Obviously, he's doing this soft run. He is out of sync with everyone else. It seems like everyone else is going for the one stop of soft hards. Pacher is going to be pushing hard on these softs for a while. Then switch to the mediums when they're all on more tired hards. Pacher could be in a really good spot this race. We're behind Doc on here, but that's not too bad. Fastest lap of the race for Teo Pacher, by the way. He's vibing. Although he's the only person on softs right now. This is going to be a race of patience. This is going to be a race where we're going to come out behind some people, but with the mediums, I want to believe we can get through. Ricardo pit stop issue as well. I can't believe how lucky Pacher has got with all the traffic there. There was only a few cars we had to get past, and we got past them very quickly. If you've got any pace left, it'll be good now. Okay. Has to be soft hard. Not at all. Going on hards now is basically conceding defeat. Nice. Verstappen's going to pit now. Is he going to go Not medium hards? That is a weird strategy they've decided to put him on. Albon is leading! Keep an eye on where Ocon comes out Easy here. So I'm coming out behind Norris Perez Stroll with a gap to K-Mag. I could go hards, but I'm going to go softs. Uh, sorry, not softs, mediums. Teo Pusher is going past Max Verstappen. Things you love to see, I've missed a pit stop. 2.1 seconds. Sorry to the ultras. Albon is going to come out behind Ocon, right? No, still ahead of Ocon. Okay, we lost no time. Okay. We did lose some time. I'll admit it. But these mediums are going to last. I say we lost some time. It's not anything too major. The racer I'm really interested in here is Pacher, because I think with the help of Verstappen, he could be on for a really good race. That Renault is fast. And also, we can't even keep up with Verstappen on hards with these softs. What a sad state of affairs. Kevin Magnussen gets past us. No one liked that. There might be a temptation to turn Albon's strategy into a two-stop with softs at the end. I'm now wondering if that is a better plan. If these guys are going hards to the end. Because right now, we just don't have the pace. And Pacher's pace on these softs is not too bad at all. If all these guys are on hards to the end, the softs could offer a massive edge over them when they're knackered. I'm going to have strategy B locked in. I might not enact it. We'll review things. Thing is, if I want to go for that strategy, I kind of have to push on the mediums now. Thing is, we came out alongside Ocon, didn't we, on his hards. And we're already a long way behind him. Who's had a moment? There's a yellow flag, someone locked up. Is it the Aston Martin? Was it Joe? No, Stroll. Oh, even better. Everyone liked that. Lance Stroll was running in third or fourth? Are his tyres wrecked from that? Are his tyres wrecked? Uh, more wrecked than he probably wants them to be. And he's come back onto the track holding up everyone. Albon's here behind Stroll, and then we've got all the other runners. I mean, this might be a very convenient way for us to get DRS off Albon in a situation where I didn't think we'd be consistently getting it. Got the outside line here. Combined with the DRS, we should have a run in on Joe on the soft. Uh, on the hard, sorry. Bashir's still chilling away. Key is now to stay in DRS on these guys. Push to close this gap. 
Alex's pack has been at 3 to 8 percent for a while in neutral. Yeah, I mean, neutral just means you use the same amount that you every lap as you gain. So as long as it's above zero going down the final corner, it will always have enough charge to do neutral all the way around. Okay, for share is in the pits. It's going to be interesting to see where he comes out in relation to these guys. Albon can make a move here, I think. Should be able to get a couple of them. Oh, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, this could be great. If the Aston wants to move to the left slightly, we could get all three of them done at once. I'm sorry to the Ultras. I was too invested in what Albon was doing. It probably is more important in the context of our race. Please don't hit each other. But Cher's come out in 11th. He's got Gasly in front of him. But great spot for both our drivers here. Okay, happy to manage the entire short term. Copy. I almost don't want to get ahead of the Aston here because they'll get DRS on us on this next bit. Is the pack really close this season? It is very close this season. It feels like a lot, because of how close the teams are, a lot more of the performances have come down to individual driver kind of differences. Obviously, the, the Red Bull and Ferrari are the fastest two cars quite comfortably. But with uh, Russell and Leclerc hitting one another... That's kind of shuffled things up in the final bit. But yeah, it has been a lot closer this year. Gasly's just putting a fastest lap of the race on his heart in front of Pacher. I guess they've full deployed him to try and keep him ahead. Which is fine. I mean, Pacher's going to reel in these hard runners when their hards start to drop off. My concern now for Albon is that I can't drop these medium runners. And that I'm just giving them the benefit of my mediums whilst they chill behind on hards. But if I start pushing too much, these mediums are pretty close on the bubble anyway. I think if I'm still ahead after the chicane, turn one and two, which I'm not going to be here, although maybe this is even better for trying to get by. If I'm still at, if I'm ahead through turns one and two, I will just full send Albon for a lap. I think actually our best bet now might be just to chill behind uh, Stroll just for a lap whilst harvesting. Just try and get a close to full battery for just a couple of laps. Hope that the, these guys are a bit further back now. If Magnussen and Ocker want to scrap, that'd be great. But if I could get, I don't know, to like 75% charge, it'd put me in a situation where I can deploy for about a lap and a half. How's Bashir's times looking here on these mediums? 122.1. So his lap will go about a second a lap faster than those in front of him on the hards. And they're about six seconds up the road. So Bashir's going to have about, catch them with about 10 laps left. Gasly's flying, but Gasly, I think, has used all his charge. I expect this to reel him in very quickly here. I do feel like some of these hard runners might pit again for softs at the end. And whilst that might be a good strategy against the other guys running softs, I don't necessarily think it's the better strategy versus us. Can Stroll get ahead in the DRS detection point here? We should be lifting. See, I want to go aggressive here, but actually it makes no sense to go aggressive here because I'm not going to have DRS to drop him this lap. The risk I've got is that a few guys follow him through. Yeah, Bashir has already caught Gasly. Ga Bashir's at the back of this pack almost now. It's kind of insane. Albon, by the way, pretty much has a charge battery now, which is great news. And Bashir is also going to be making his way through the same group at the same time. All right, Albon, is he going to get the move definitely done here? There's no DRS for these next few bits, which is why it's important to get it done here. We've got a really charged battery. Mediums that I'm willing to push hard to try and drop. But I, I fear that we just don't have the raw pace to be able to pull ahead of these hard runners. Like the DRS is so strong here, although Stroll has no DRS on these guys, which is going to allow Bichere now to go through. Teo's on a run. Teo's 
Matteo did two 17 lap stints on the soft. Tiocon is actually racing Albon here. Like, I, I literally can't drop him. There's no point in me using what's left here because I'm probably going to need it to defend later on. I'm going to have to tell Albon not to fight his teammate here. It might mean that Albon slams on the brakes at a weird point and blocks Ocon or even Ocon follows through. But I have to give Teo the best chance here. And Ocon has DRS anyway. Let him through, Alex. Good boy. No point even trying to defend these positions. I know, mate. I know. You are pathetic. I agree. For share, by the way, peak confidence. Look at his attributes when he's in peak confidence. He gets 80 overtaking. It's like he learns to overtake. It's great. See, I think Archon is currently using a lot of charge. I suspect that Ocon is really pushing things here to keep Pacher behind him to try and protect Perez. I'm going to just stay behind Ocon here for a lap or two just to charge the pack. Pacher could be on for a podium, though. Teo should get this moved, and there's no space for you to move across there, Ocon. Don't you dare. Tell you what, this battle with us and Mercedes for third in the constructors is hotting up with races like this, isn't it? I think Albon's just got to follow Magnussen through here, although we are going to have DRS, which is big. Albon is going to have DRS on Magnussen here. Ocon, DRS on Pacher. Wait, I thought we'd have DRS. We don't have DRS. Was Magnussen really... Oh, wait. I thought the, de the detection point was before the last corner, not after it. That's awkward. Keep pushing, keep pushing. I always thought the detection point for the start-finish straight was before the final corner, but the green dot is after the final corner. There's another yellow flag. Who's gone off? Lando Norris is off the track. He's rejoined unsafely. Albon's going to take evasive action. What just happened? What just happened? Lando Norris all over the curb. Really? They must be careful. And then just start spawning gravel out of his ass. I mean, maybe that's the pellets. Maybe Lando Norris poos like a rabbit. You know, just has little pellets. Either way, we've got ahead of him with Albon. Albon's up to sixth. Norris is behind us. Unfortunately, Albon, I think, did lose some time there. But still not a bad spot to be in. And Pacher, DRS range on Perez. Gonna try and secure the move on Ocon now. Oh, and Te has Teo been on the podium on an actual Sunday race? I don't think he has been. This could be his time to shine. He needs to push hard here to get out of DRS range. That's my that is my primary objective right now. Is to be out of DRS range. But I don't think we are going to be. Or maybe, maybe we can be. We are going to be. That's big. We have got three laps left. Still racing. Wheel to wheel with Norris. Now, you might notice I'm conserving here. That is because I want Norris to be ahead on the detection point around this corner. So that we get the uh, DRS. Lift and coast. Why is the club P12? He crashed with Russell early on. Okay. You think you can reduce lift and coast? Kevin yes. Magnussen just had tried to have a cheeky go on me there, the cheeky bass. We can push on now. Did not appreciate that. There's no point in going aggressive when I'm already driving behind someone. There's been another incident somewhere. The share's still on track. We're fine. I'm calm. Gasly locked up. Gasly. What happened? Look at the traffic, by the way, behind us in our battle. I've not really acknowledged it. The number of cars he's following there. That, that could have ended uglily. Uglily. Technical terminology, by the way. Look at this race. Five, six cars. Sharing the straight. I mean, signs of Verstappen are racing for the lead as well. If they want to crush and give Pacher the win, 
That would be nice. I feel like I've got to remain focused on what's going on with this uh, battle behind Albon, though. We have got a Magnussen behind us. Norris is there. Both Astons are there as well. Aston fifth in the constructors. Behind ourselves and Merck in third and fourth, respectively. Two laps left. The Mercs are still racing wheel to wheel. They are... There's no team orders in this camp. Kevin! Oh, my God. Kevin Magnussen, don't you dare. Okay, press and hold over. Take... God bless the reserve deploy I'm keeping. God bless it. We are going to need that for these next two laps. If you've got any pace left, it'll be good now. See, I'm tempted to go aggressive here, but there's literally no point. I'm not getting out of DRS range on Magnussen. Okay, this is the lap where we full send it and hope that there's enough in the tank to make it last. Maximum pace now. I can't go above neutral for ERS usage. I'll be able to deploy out the final corner if I need it. Increase lifting coast. We are still ahead. We are still ahead. Oh, my word. The stress levels are rising. Look at this action here. Look at this train behind Albon. Heroically making these mediums last. Bashir still holding on. Signs. One last corner for him to hit, Max. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Kevin is still behind us. This is a DRS zone here for Magnussen. Is he close enough to have a go? I don't think he is. I don't think he is. I, we, can't li we can't reduce Lyco. We can't reduce it. That's not true. Teo Pesher going around the final corner. He is going to get on the podium for us. But the battle that I'm concerned about is this one here. Look at these tyres. They're about to fall off the cliff. We have just enough battery here to deploy through the final corner. Alexander Albon holds on for sixth place. Pesher comes home for third. Get the podium out on. It's here. It's been waiting this whole time. Let's go. Okay, Biblical scenes for a Williams team Six. not looking and anticipating anything going into this weekend. Yeah, it's absolute madness. Bashir with his first ever podium. There are questions over who will lead this team next year. Should Albon get the extension? Lando Norris being linked with a move. But right here and now, it's all about this, man. It's all about one Teo Bashir. People asking for the flute, bloody hell. Can I get the flute to work? Of course I can. Come on! Let's go! That strategy only worked because there were no safety cars. Come on, the bananas in pyjamas are loving it. Up the DHL Ultras. What a moment. We don't get a podium sequence, I don't think, because of Pacher's helmet. Because he's not got a face scanned in the game. We don't get the actual podium. We just get high fives. Do the high fives at home. High five me back. Please high five me back. Come on. Look at that for a race performance. I know Albon lost five places. We were never going to hold on to pole position. The two-stopper for Pesher works. 15 points for him. Eight points for Albon. It is a net gain on Mercedes. Of one point. The flute gets better every time, doesn't it? There you go. There's the driver's standings. Pesher hunting down Lando Norris. Two points behind him right now in that battle. Albon still right up there. Constructors' Championship. It's another point swing in our favour over Mercedes. Eight races left of the year. The board expectation is eighth. We've got no more upgrades. If we finish ahead of Mercedes, it will be a miracle. But on a day where they scored 22, probably thought that'd eat into our lead over them. It hasn't. We've got 23. The DHL Ultras, the golden era, it might be coming back. We've got our new race director, uh, sporting director, not race director. We've not bought out the, the race director. Not yet. Hey, Red Bull? Uh, no, 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 it wasn't a conspiracy. It was just Michael Massey being an idiot. But 
We've got our new sporting director in. The pit stop times are increasing. And we've moved ahead of Mercedes in this. I think we were already ahead of them. But we're still ahead of them by a point here as well. Biblical scenes. Ferrari, we are coming for you. So the board expectation is fourth. What did I say it was, chat? What, what lie did I tell there? Did I say eighth? I meant fourth. Where did eighth come from? He hates me. He hates. Right, I'll give you the sign. You can have 1.5 million and I'll give you a signing on bonus. Are you happy now, you little prick? I'm not bitter, by the way. Not This isn't us getting off on a bad foot. You know, some people will think this is an argument. This will get reported on by the race and motorsport.co.uk. It's not a tiff. This is, if, as far as I'm concerned, we're both equally stern individuals. Can we have an F in the chat for the, uh, the Owasa era? I say era, like, he's, he's been a great reserve driver for us. You know, he's not crashed as a reserve, and he's actually developed quite nicely. He's not like a bad driver, but at 23 years old, like, his development rate is now average. He's not going to get better. He will probably get a drive on an F1 team with these attributes down the line. So don't be surprised if we see a Yumu kind of just pop up somewhere this coming year, because he's probably better than Mick Schumacher. 